So many people, you know, you see them here this afternoon and they're here every day. And they're all here to see seals. These seals are really gentle creatures. In San Diego, there is a magical place called the Children's Pool. Ever since I was little, we came to visit the children's pool to see the seals. They say once upon a time, children used to come swim here, but they don't anymore. Instead, the place has been populated by many seals. When that happened, people began fighting with each other. People on television talk a lot about this. You could say that the seals are already celebrities. The children's pool. Drawn to the children's pool. It's here at the La Jolla Children's Pool. You've heard about the controversy over the seals at the children's pool in La Jolla. Decades of fighting between seal lovers and people who want beach access. Back away from the seals! Get away from the seals! My right to establish myself as the alpha animal on that beach. Seals at La Jolla's children's pool being harassed. Well, that's upsetting video. It's showing people harassing and frightening. There's the been sea so life. many incidents of abuse and harassment to the seals. Some people even want to sit on them and make them angry. This camera also captured people punching the seals. The video led to an emergency order by San Diego Mayor Bob Filner to close La Jolla Children's Pool from sunset to sunup. They're being hit, they're being sat upon, they're being slapped. I mean, this is unacceptable. We are closing the beach uh, to observe harbor seal pupping season the next five months. They could not agree, so the city said, let's close the children's pool every year for a few months so the seals can have their pups, and for the rest of the year, people can share the beach. People share one side of the beach in front of the rope, and the seals get the other side of the beach behind the rope. But people go under the rope. I heard of a brave girl who collected signatures to keep seals year-round on the beach. I remember the first place that I came when I was in college was straight here. I was like, I have to see these seals. I've never seen seals before. And they were just so funny. And I just kept coming back. Like, I came here one time and I saw a seal give birth. It was so cute. And I just really had this love for them. And I just kept coming back.
To tell us more about the seals, we found a famous oceanographer. A pioneer in local whale research and conservation, Jim Hodnell was among the first to become interested in the humpback. Seals are more of a herd an animal uh, prone to stampede than sea lions. So people can approach the sea lions closely and the sea lions just sit there and make growling noises. They feel very confident. Well, they can walk and they can run if they have to. But the harbor seals feel insecure because they can only inch along the beach like a big inchworm. So they tend to panic and leave the beach altogether if something happens to disturb them. We spoke to a woman who loves seals so much that she dedicates almost every day of her life to telling people to stay away from the seals and sea lions. I'm here several times a day. It depends on what's happening, what the season is. Wildlife advocate Andrea Hahn says while the video was crucial for the mayor to execute this emergency permit, harassment of the seals during pup season has always been a continuous problem. We've had reports of poaching, uh, we've had seal mutilations at night. Then they put up a webcam that would film the people who harm the seals for everyone to see. But then the webcam disappeared and did not come back. It came down because it was on the old lifeguard tower that was scheduled to be torn down and it was not permitted on the new lifeguard tower. No one is here at night. What we've been asking is that they put the webcam back that we once had. This webcam was uh, paid for by uh, Sarah Wan and her husband Larry Wan. And they put up maybe $30,000 of their own money so there would be a webcam so people could see what's going on at night. And lo and behold, things were happening at night. There are people that they're really just not the smartest. They would just put their mag lights on and it's at nighttime, pointing it to the seals and it, they get harassed, they get stressed. When a seal feels any bit threatened or scared, they go to where it, what's safe is in the water, which they make a big deal out of flushing and stuff. Flushing is when we have all of the seals on the beach stampede into the water. By having these animals fleeing off the beach, there can be separations from moms and pups, there can be tramplings of pups. A lot of times the mom harbor seal leaves their baby on shore to go out and forage and then a bunch of people get around the baby and the mother comes back to get the baby and sees all the people around it and she'll go away and leave the baby there and it's called abandonment by the, the mother. When the moms are with their pups that it's a very trying time for the pup, it's just like us having a baby and the pups and the moms shouldn't be disturbed and that's why they close the beaches down to make sure that those pups have a safe, quiet place to be able to nurse. There are moms that give birth to their pups early and they're stillborn for whatever reason. People think that the moms just leave them and most of the time the moms don't leave them. They stay with their pups for two, three, four, five days grieving. At first she never left its side. She fought off the seagulls and, and stayed right beside it and then as time has gone by she's left for periods of time and come back. It's hard to watch, hard to understand sometimes that they will stay that long with their pups. I don't know for how long the mom will stay with it, but it's been a while. Some people did not like the seals here and wanted their beach back. The whole thing started in 1992 when a group of activists, the Hubs Sea World director at the time, approached the city council and the mayor Golding to create a seal rock reserve, which is right off to the left here. And one of the real important things is if they created that seal rock reserve, they were afraid that the seals would eventually move over to the beach here, which they did. We do have a map. It's called the Bosford map. And the seawall itself was built on a rocky layer called Seal Point. So they wouldn't have called it Seal Point had the seals not been here before 1887. For too long, just because of the harassment by the animal rights activists, people were not using this beach. Starting tomorrow, people will not be able to come down to this beach. We spoke to one organization and they told us they are not giving up that fight.
we have the right to access the ocean. His organization has been fighting for 10 years. His group filed a lawsuit against the city. People even went to court and sued the city, and they said that the seals poop a lot there, so it stinks and they don't like the smell. It is an unusual candlelight vigil, but the people behind me say by blocking the entrance to the children's pool, the city is robbing them of a piece of history. I am here mourning the loss of a beach that has tremendous history. They dishonored the memory of Ellen Browning Scripps by converting a, a children's playground into an animal reserve today, which is specifically prohibited in the trusts. So. Will there be more lawsuits? Oh, no doubt. <laughs> The seals have an instinct like salmon to return to the place of their birth, to give birth, and that they keep returning lifelong. I felt from the very beginning that we had a, a great educational opportunity here because this is the only harbor seal pupping rookery in Southern California mainland. The problem is that there are no other seal colonies in Southern California. The next rookery is in Ventura, 160 miles north. The Channel Islands are a rookery for both sea lions and harbor seals and fur seals. But you have to take a boat out there. You can't get out there. The islands are closed. You have this perfectly wonderful, natural, beautiful thing going on. All in this beautiful cove line right on the coastline of California. I mean, it's free. It's beautiful. Go and enjoy it, but leave the animals alone. They decided to pull the children of San Diego to see what the children thought about uh, letting this beach be for seals. And the children of San Diego overwhelmingly voted to leave this beach alone for the seals. Of course, it's nonsense. It was built for human use. This beach didn't exist prior to the building of the seawall. And it was built for a specific purpose and donated to the city who gladly accepted it at the time and said they will preserve it for that purpose forever as was intended by the gift from Ellen Browning Scripps in 1931. <laughs> My great-grandfather was Ellen Browning Scripps' attorney. He lived here in La Jolla, and his name was Jacob Chandler Harper. You know, she was a very early environmentalist. She was responsible for creation of Scripps Institution of Oceanography over here and Torrey Pines Park. They say that this place was once built for children to swim back in the days when San Diego had no public swimming pools. But maybe in the present time, we can also swim here or here. Actually, it scared a little baby off the rock and it says right there. I don't like it when they throw, throw them where a seal is because they're scared. We also asked a few other people to hear what they think. It's kind of the wild animal park, if you will. Safari, we can right? all come and enjoy them <laughs> uh -huh. as opposed to going to SeaWorld. Honestly, I think that it's really cool having a beach just for seals. I think the public should be able to get within 20, 30 feet of them. We can enjoy them from up here. We don't need to be down there with them. No, I think that the people and the wildlife should interact at every opportunity. We used to be able to come down right next to the seals. I think it's a great idea that they keep it closed during pup season. I think that we should protect the seals. I think they should leave them alone. Lifeguards say 1.3 million people come down to this area every year. This destination, the children's pool, is a top 10 attraction on TripAdvisor. Keeping seals safe and happy is a win-win for San Diego. We get a lot of calls regarding people around the animals, and I just think it's important for the public to understand that in the, the age of the selfie, you know, everybody wants to get a picture with an animal and show what you've done on the internet. It's really important to understand that you know, one person down there for a one, one or two seconds may not be that much, but if you look at the numbers of people that are down there throughout the day, and it's, it's a constant ebb and flow of people coming in and trying to get really close to these animals. And over time, this definitely has an effect on these animals. So we're just really trying to remind the public to, to share the shore. When you go down to the beach, if you see wild animals, 
have some respect, give them some space, and try not to interact with them because the reality is they're best to be left wild and not interacted with. The years-long battle over the children's pool in La Jolla is about to heat up once again. All those on both sides are gearing up for a big decision that could decide the fate of the beloved area for the next decade. If the permits are renewed, they would be effective for another 10 years. Ken Hunricks is with Friends of the Children's Pool, an organization that believes people should have more access to the area, not less. They're hoping the Coastal Commission chooses not to renew the permits that allow the city of San Diego to restrict access. Just a while ago, during pupping season, there were around 200 seals resting and relaxing on this beach. And now that people are allowed on the beach, they're no longer there. Not because they're not around, just simply because they feel threatened in their natural territory. I hope when I grow up and I visit this place, I'll still be able to see the seals. I think the record is pretty overwhelmingly clear, and I recommend a yes vote. What more could be said? <laughs> is there any objection to unanimous yes vote? Hearing none, the motion is approved, and the uh, proposed amendment uh, is adopted. Uh, thank you all very much for your patience, and thank you very much, staff, for your good work. They bring so much joy to my life just to be able to come here whenever I'm stressed and just come watch them. My hope is that this place will be celebrated as a place for seals and a place for seal pupping. It's a joy to be here, really. I feel that someday we will succeed. It would be nice if we could all sit down and just work this out.